I am in an ongoing feud with a cat who walked 100 miles to torment me. <laughs> David's team. <laughs> well, who's this, the cat? Uh, it, it doesn't belong to anyone. It's, uh, it's feral. The cat is essentially a, a criminal in my eyes. <laughs> he, he attacks my cats, he breaks into my house. Um, he breaks it? How do you mean breaks into your house? <laughs> is anyone going to do the cat burglar joke? Are we letting no. it go? <laughs> It over if anyone yeah. wants it. <laughs> when you say breaks into your house, do you yeah, mean he just, he just walks in? <laughs> get rid of the first bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, how does it get in? Uh, first of all, he just walked in through the cat flap because I have my own cat. Right, that's not breaking in. That is it. You cannot blame a cat for walking through a cat flap. I, I now have a, a more advanced cat flap, um, which doesn't quite stop him 100% of the time. What, what is the new cat flaps technique? Is it a chip cat flap? Yes. So it you've is. had... You've chipped your two cats yeah. with a chip cat flap, yeah. but the feral cat... <laughs> sometimes... Are you Dr. In. Zeus? <laughs> <laughs> what he does is the batteries in the cat flap only last uh, six weeks. So he systematically tests the cat flap to see when the batteries have been exhausted, and then when they run out, it releases completely, and then he can gain Does access. he sit on the outside looking at other cats, <laughs> going, I can wait? <laughs> so what does the cat do once it gains access? He basically... He beats up my cats, he eats their food, and, and then he sleeps in their bed. No. So is it like wow. a sort of violent Goldilocks? <laughs> This 100, you said 100 miles. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Talk a little bit more about that. I called the RSPCA to get rid of this cat. They refused to come out, um, but they did supply me with a trap. Um, I trapped it, caught it, took it to the local vet. They then said, oh, we'll, no. we'll release it. Oh, right. Um, I said, you can't release it near my house because it will just come right back. Right. And that's when they said, yep, we'll get the RSPCA to take it to a cat sanctuary a hundred miles away. No. Up in the sky. No. Um, <laughs> I don't then, think the RSPCA would allow that. What? Would allow it to be taken away to Taking a cat sanctuary? Taking away from its family. But that's the point, it's not its family. It's what family. Do you mean? How, do you know How do you know it's not got a family? So you don't... I do. <laughs> If it does have a family, it doesn't like them very much. <laughs> it lives with me. They could be worried sick. <laughs> the vet says the RSPCA will take this a hundred miles, a hundred miles away, yeah. to a sanctuary. Yeah. What give or happens, take. Give what or take. happens then? Well, I have probably six weeks of bliss, of of no feral cat interfering with my cats. So then what happened? I was quite sad that um, Mark Dennis was no longer around. Who? Mark Dennis. Who is Mark Dennis? Mark Dennis is the cat. Yeah. And why Mark so Dennis? So bad you named him twice. <laughs> <laughs> Be because the cat was a black cat. He was a dark menace. But I didn't want to, you know, paint him with that brush, so I decided to soften it a little bit and call him Mark Dennis. And then what happened? He found his way back. <gasps> From a hundred miles away. <laughs> Do you know for a fact they took him 100 miles away? They might... Because that sounded unlikely. No, I believe them, though, because they... I, I kept in touch with them. I was worried about the cat, because when I had taken it in, the last few times when it had burgled my house, it had, um... <laughs> it had a, a slight infection in its uh, lungs, and it would snore loudly at night, like a, a fully-grown man would snore. Describe, if you can, the moment uh, when Mark Dennis returned, because it must have been quite dramatic. And, and noisy. <laughs> so you're taking me back? Yeah. <laughs> uh, again, it was the snoring. <laughs> I thought, it can't be Mark Dennis, because he's 100 miles away. <laughs> I went down, and then he, he did the usual thing, and, and ran into the garden. <laughs> Diane, what are you thinking? I think it's true. <laughs> I, th I think it's true. True. Well. So you're going to say true? So we're going to say true. Yeah. OK. Rory, was it true or was it a lie? Well, it was very true. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>